Okay, here is our last video. This is the eighth, the eighth part. This is called the Achronim. The Achronim is essentially anyone that comes after the Rishonim until today. So I'm an Achron, you're an Achron. It might be that no one cares about what we say, but we are part of this time period of the Achronim. Okay, and this is the uh, this is the eighth Tkufa. This is the eighth time period. Okay, and the Achronim essentially again from the year 1400 all the way 1500 really all the way until today. These are Ashkenazim. They're Sfardim. Also the Rishonim were Ashkenazim and Sfardim. That's when that started taking place. We're going to learn that last in this uh, in this sugya of our of Torah Shabbat of the Misora, and here we have this is what the Achronim really concentrate and they start writing about what the Rishonim write about. Now, there's on their commentaries on the Gemara that they're going to write about. Okay, they write this is what the Rabbim said on the Gemara, this is what the Rashi said on the Gemara, and this is what I think Rashi meant. And they start debating what the Rishonim started saying. Okay, they write commentaries on Chumash, the Torah Tamima, the uh, the uh, the Svasemis, these are all famous commentaries written by Achronim on the Chumash. They also start for the first time actual yeshivas. So the Lajan is the first yeshiva where you have many, many people coming together to learn. Until that time, you would essentially pick a teacher. The teacher would have 15, 20 students, and they would learn in some building, maybe a shul or anything. Here you have the first official yeshivas that are that are coming out. Now the Achronim concentrated on the same areas as the Rishonim. They wrote commentaries on Chumash. They wrote commentaries on the Gemara. They wrote, co- they wrote Hashkafa books, right? We talked about philosophy books, answering the why questions. But what they really start concentrating on, we see a plethora, a lot of different works on this, on these areas, are halacha lamaisa, we call practical halacha. And at this time period, the Shulchan Aruch is written, the Mishnah Brewer is written. These are works that you might not be familiar with in these names, but these are the classic, classic Jewish works that they wrote, okay? And uh, and the, now, what the Achronim face a little more than the Rishonim, and we know this from the Holocaust uh, and from uh, and from pogroms, they start fi- facing persecution. But even in the face of persecution, even though they, they still had to survive through persecution, their works flourished, and Torah scholarship has flourished over the last five, six hundred years, we've seen tremendous amounts of Torah being written by the Achronim, again, concentrating mostly on, ha- on Halacha, but also writing commentaries on Chumash, writing commentaries on the Gemara, and writing books of Hashkafa uh, on Jewish philosophy. Okay? That's it. You can answer your questions. That's the end of this. Hope you were able to all do it during class, but if not, then at least you got to look at me at home. Bye. Miss you guys.